pues oremos, mamacita, usted por mí y yo por usted, porque sí que lo necesitamos. Pero yo más, oiga. Good evening, teacher. How, how are you? Just Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Fine. Excellent. I really fine. Now, yes. Yesterday, really tired. <laughs> But today yeah. it's better, huh? Yes, today it's okay. better. Okay, very good. And uh, Mr. Cermeño, how are you? Good, good teacher. Excellent. Good evening. It's always, good evening, sir. It's always nice to see you, all of you. Um, we have uh, Sarah Martinez, are you there? <coughs> Patricia Ayala, Yesli Sanchez, and Brenda Cruz. Can you please uh, turn your uh, camera on? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Sarah Martinez. You look great tonight. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Good teacher. Evening. Anthony. I like your hair. It looks nice. I like your hair. It looks nice. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Brenda. Hi. The... Oh, my goodness. We have a Kate Palomo. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you. <laughs> And, and hi teacher hi hi um hello teacher nice hello. to see you nice to see you too nice to see you, all of you guys uh, okay we're gonna recover from yesterday we're gonna uh, start where we left yesterday and everybody uh remind me or tell me uh um what did we see yesterday what did we talk about yesterday uh graciela Yesterday we are talking about the change to the statement to question with verb to be and the pres simple present tense to WH question and we played. Okay, so, uh, okay, uh, yes, but uh, yeah, the, the verb to be was before yesterday, right? And yesterday, what did we see, uh, Termini? <coughs> Mainly. Uh, and also we, we study about the do and does auxiliary. Do and does auxiliary verbs, right? And what was the structure that we see, Brenda Cruz? A verb to be. That was before yesterday, yes. Uh -huh. But yesterday uh, we saw the verb, uh, the auxiliary verb, do and does. And uh, what was the structure and how to um, make a question? Uh, the auxiliary do and does, the plus subject, And plus base verb. Plus the base verb, yes. Uh, we didn't see the whole uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, but I already sent you, we sent you uh, one yesterday and I sent you today another one. Did you, uh, did you have the time to open it or not? It was about the time expression. That is going to be our next <coughs> class, probably tomorrow. Or if we have time today, we're going to start the uh, seeing the time expression it is very important to uh have an understanding a well understanding about the time expression because we use them a lot a lot we use them a lot and it will increase your vocabulary okay so um i'm gonna share the screen with you guys uh, do you have any question about the uh, platform or any exercise that you might have uh, difficulties uh, um, completing No? Is everything okay with the platform? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, Patricia? No, teacher. Okay. What, what is the problem? Thank you. No problem. Oh, no problem. My okay. problem is talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, Keith Palomo, do you have any, any questions about the uh, platform? No, teacher, eh, por el momento no, no me he puesto al día, pero espero poderlo hacer okay. eh, en, este, en esta noche. Wow, ok. Eh, we're, pero we're, uh -huh. también mi problema es más que todo el hablarlo. Me cuesta okay. mucho y no so sé let, si me puede talk. dar algún consejo. This is your chance to talk right now. <coughs> My best advice is to practice. Yesterday we were talking about uh, the, to make mistakes. That is the best uh, thing to do because it's when you learn. So if you talk and talk and talk, even though if you don't 
if you think or you feel that you're not saying things correctly, it doesn't matter. You will learn eventually, okay? So that's my, my advice to you. Okay, is, teacher, thank you. Okay, so do you have any questions, Kate Palomo? Uh, for a moment, no. Okay, uh, tell me in English. I don't know. Okay. Not right now, right? Not um, right now. Not right now. Not right now. Right, right now, no. yes. And uh, could right. you please turn your camera on? Puede prender su cámara, por favor. Y manténgala abierta toda la sesión. Toda la sesión. Okay. Esa es una regla. Uh, That <laughs> is the rule. Okay. Eh, es que estoy muy cansada, teacher. Y, yeah, you y want creo. to sleep, ¿no? You want to sleep. <laughs> o sea, yo estoy poniendo atención y yeah. todo, pero yeah. sí. Okay. No me gusta que me vean el rostro cansado. Ok, voy a hacer esto entonces. Ok. <laughs> ok, so um, I'm going to share the screen. If there is no question, I'm going to share the screen with you guys. Hi, Jenny Lizette. Welcome to your class. Hi, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> And uh, we will continue with the uh, PowerPoint presentation that we didn't finish yesterday. Are you able to see it, all of you? La pueden ver, todos ustedes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So over here, we said that the WH questions are how many WH questions we have uh, gone over with. ¿Cuántas hemos visto? The WH. Is that what? Where? 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 When, when, which, when, which, how, why, where, why. when, yes, who, and who and how, right? Okay, so that is the WH. And then we, yesterday we were talking about the do, like Sermenio said, do and does, plus the base verb. The do and does is a auxiliary verb, plus the base verb, so we can make a sentence. This one is a statement and this is a question. What's the difference between a statement and a question, uh, Sara Martinez? See, si, teacher? What is the difference between a statement and a question? Can you help her? Um, let's see. Um, Graciela, can you help her? Yes, question. We use question for asking about something or about thing. And the statement are affirmative sentence. There we go. I think the question is when we, when we want to find out something, right? <coughs> want to know, like, uh, how old are you, kids, Paloma? How old are you? Me, me está preguntando cuántos años tengo. Yes. How old are you? Yes, huh? How old are you? Okay. Um, I 34 years old. Okay, you are 34, 34 years old. So I want to find yes. the age of uh, Keith Palomo. So I ask her a question. But if I said, um, Keith Palomo, you are 34 years old. That is a statement. That is something that I'm saying that is true. So you are 34 years old, Palom. Okay, so that's the difference between statement and a question. So in this case, the statement says, the sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. So el sol rises, que es rise? Mm -hmm. Sí, gracias. Levantas. Ah, es que en this case, ajá, como salir, como aparecer. Ah, aparece, yes. Rises es levantar, pero nosotros decimos el sol aparece. Yeah? Entonces le damos una interpretación. At the beginning of the of, uh, last uh, module, I was uh, uh, explaining about uh, 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 when, whenever you um, le das interpretación o traducir, translation o Interpretation is, there is a big difference between translation and interpretation. Translation is when we translate word 
by words. But interpretation is when you give a meaning to the word. Por ejemplo, en este caso, rises es levantarse. ¿sí? Pero nosotros decimos el sol sale en el este y mm -hmm. se esconde en el oeste. ¿sí? So the sun rises in yes. the east. Lo interpretamos nosotros como el sol sale en el este. Where does the sun rise, Brenda Cruz? Where? The sun rises in the east. In the east. Very good. Very good. So now we're going to see another uh, example. I drink tea without sugar. Do you drink uh, tea? Yes, Lee Sanchez. Do you drink tea? I drink tea without sugar. sugar. Do, you, do you drink tea? Mm. No, I am not. Okay, okay, very good. You are not. Corey, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, do you drink tea? No. No, okay. I am not. <laughs> tell, tell me that you do drink tea, please. Do you drink tea? Do you drink tea, teacher? No. Uh, answer, answer me back. Do you drink tea? Say, yes, teacher. I do drink tea. Okay. Do you drink tea? Yes, teacher. I do drink tea. How do you drink tea? Your tea? Mm. To me, I drink tea with sugar. Very good. <laughs> I drink tea with sugar. Okay, so I just want to... to uh... Excuse me, teacher, the yes. pronunciation. Pronunciation? And um, drink tea. Drink. drink. Mm, lo siguiente. Without. Tea. Without. 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 Okay. Thank you, sin, teacher. Sin azúcar, without. I drink tea without sugar, okay? So I just want to uh, uh, give you an, ex uh, an example of how you change from a question to statement. And you go from statement to question. And if you can manage that, you will not have any problem when you are, when if you are establishing a, 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 like a, a conversation with somebody that you don't know, because you can turn the statement into a question. For example, if I say, oh, um, yes, I like coffee a lot. And uh, what would be your question, Graciela Duarte? Do you like coffee? No, no, no. I, I like coffee a lot, yes. How much do you like coffee? How do you like your coffee, right? Oh, do you like uh, sugar in your coffee? Oh, oh uh, do you like uh, black coffee? Oh, do you like uh, milk in your coffee? So you can, you can establish a conversation once you know how to uh, figure out going between statement and a question. Statement and a question. If, if somebody tells you a statement, you can turn that statement into a question. If somebody tells you a question, you can turn that one into a statement. So that's the reason why I'm going over this, okay? Now, next one, we said that, um, let's see. So we're gonna start uh, from, from here, okay? Let me run the uh, PowerPoint presentation so we can continue. So we saw this one okay. yesterday and this one and this one and this is where we left off. Any question about this? Uh, Kiss Palomo? Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Cuando Graciela dijo, how much do you like coffee? Este, estaba bien la, la oración o, o cuando decimos how much es como cuando preguntamos el precio no, how much is for uncountable things we can use that as a, as a uncountable things for example, how much sugar how much water how much um, uh, how much oil so whenever you ask about uncountable okay. things then you use much if it is comfortable, then you use many. How many apples? How many cars? How many people? How much money do you want? Because money, you cannot count money. You can count bills, but not money. Uh -huh. Okay? 
Very good. Good question. I like that. I love when you guys ask me questions. Okay, let's continue. I I uh -huh. Sorry, Go. I have a question. Go ahead. My please. question. Yes. Uh, I want to ask you, ¿cuánto te gusta el café? Yes. Is that right to say, how much do you like coffee? Yeah, how, how, do you like coffee a lot? A lot. Okay. A lot, yes. Do you, like, uh, coffee? you like coffee a lot? A lot? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, now WH subject question. WH subject, WH subject is when we use the uh, question as a subject. For example, what and who. We said that the what, we use what to ask about things. And who, we ask about people. But if I said, who is that person sitting at the bus stop? At the bus stop. Who is that? So I'm using who as a subject, okay? What is that? I'm using what as a subject. Okay, so what and who, we're going to be learning to use it as a subject. What is a subject? It's what uh, the, the sentences are telling about. What the sentence is talking about is the subject. Yes, who is the sentence talking about is the subject. Okay, so in this case, let's, let's find out. After the who question words, we know that the who question words are what, where, who, how, why, which, who or what, the verb will be in its singular form after the WH question. For example, what looks dangerous? What looks dangerous? And what are we talking about, Kiss Palomo? In, this en in the sentences, in these sentences, the sentence that says, what looks dangerous? What are we referring to, Keith? Uh, what look dangerous? Yes. What are we referring to? ¿A qué nos estamos refiriendo? ¿Qué, ¿A quién se está refiriendo el what? A alguien. Okay. Can you see? Estamos viendo lo, como que. Uh -huh. A algo. A algo, pero ¿a qué nos estamos refiriendo? Un deporte será. Dangerous. Ah, ¿Algo ¿le puedes ayudar? Una cosa. Sí, ¿a qué nos I, estamos refiriendo? I think uh, something dangerous, something like uh, bungee jumping, the, bungee like jumping. the response. There we go, bungee jumping. Yes, what is referring to bungee jumping? So instead of said bungee jumping, we said what? looks dangerous. So what is being used as a subject over here? But it's, it's representing bungee jumping. Yes, very good. So what looks dangerous? Bungee jumping looks dangerous. Yes, the what is referring to bungee jumping. It's like a pronoun. When I say he, Pedro is a good student. He is very smart. He is making reference to Pedro. Yes, in this case, what is, is making reference to bungee jumping? Okay. Can you see that? Everybody, yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, now we're gonna see who. When we use who as a subject, who is at school, Brenda? The students the are students at school. Are at the school, yes, the students. Because we know that who are at the school? The students. It's not asking for a specific person. It's asking for the bulk, for the group of people. And the group of people are called students. Yes? Who is at school? The students are at the school. singular teacher. Yes. It's teacher, no tendría que decir who's. No. Look at, look at, uh, over here. After the double question. student is singular. The student is a group, yes. Student okay. is a group. But students, see la S over here? Yes. Students, so more than one student. That's the reason mm -hmm. we use R. Okay? Okay. Good question. 
Okay, let's continue. If there's no question about this, use it. Teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher, can I say who, who are at the school? Who are? It's correct. No. It's correct. No. no. Why? No. Look at over here. The rule says after the WH question words, who or what? The verb will be in its singular form. So the verb is in singular form. In singular. The, the verb over here okay. is in singular form. Ah, okay. Okay. So I see. After yes, the, yes. you see it after the yes. WH question words, WH question words, who or what, the verb will be in its singular form. So this verb is going to be in its singular form. Okay. I understand. Thanks. Okay. Yes, yes, Very thanks. good. No, thank teacher, you. Thank you for the question. Teacher, yes, ma'am. Teacher, I have a question. Please. I'm Graciela. Only with who and what we are going to use singular. The other words, no. The other WH question, no. No, because this Only one, we, use, we are using this one as a subject. Only two. Who or what? Two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who or what, whenever you use it as a subject. That's the reason we have a, over here two examples. What is the subject looks dangerous? Who is the subject is at school? Now the- Teacher, the, in the primer example, no le falta el, el verbo to be. What it look, what it look dangerous? No. No. What no. looks dangerous? What looks? This is the mm -hmm. subject and this mm -hmm. is the, the verb. Remember that this is this is the simple present. What is the structure mm -hmm. of the single sing, uh, simple present, uh, Brenda Cruz? Uh, do auxiliary do and does? Of the simple present, yes, statement. That will uh, be the question. Sub subject, subject verb, subject. verb. Subject and verb, yes. You mm -hmm. are. Uh, Brenda is. Uh, Graciela is. Corey Monterosa is. Jenny is. So over here, what looks? Who is? Yes. So that's it. Okay, teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you for the question. So, yes. Teacher, I have another question. Sorry. Please, please. please. I, I, in this example, what looks? Dangerous looks always is going to be in a third person. What we are referring to a third thing because I'm asking you, for example, Brenda Cruz, what looks dangerous? It's a third person, it's, it's a third person that I'm asking about, but I, I'm asking Brenda about a third person. Brenda, what looks dangerous? A, Kid Palomo, who is at school? So that's the reason why it's on the third person. Okay. Okay. Now okay. I understand. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, teachers. Thanks. Okay, let's continue. Don't forget, we can also ask questions in the present simple. Okay. To get general information about something. How much does a ticket to Disney, Disneyland cost? So I'm asking, I'm using the present simple to get general information about what, uh, Jenny? Sorry, Peter. Yes, I am asking, I am using the present simple to get general information in this sentence to find about what? Una pregunta buscando what? Uh, Tirso, can you help me? Um, in, this, in this question, we need to find the cost there of a uh, ticket. The, the cost. The cost of the, uh, uh, the, the entrance to Disneyland. The price. So that the price, very good. So that is what I'm looking for. And I'm using the present simple 
to get a general information about the cost of the ticket. There we go. How much does a ticket to Disneyland cost? So I'm using the, gen the present simple to find out about uh, something. How much? Si quiero decir cuánto cuesta un café, tengo que decir how much does a coffee cost? Very good, very good. Oh my goodness, good job, good job. How much does a, a, a cup of coffee cost? Yes, how much a, a, a pair of uh, or jeans, jeans cost? How much a, a pair of uh, a shoes? Cost. How much does uh, a house in uh, in Ciudad del Cabo cost? A lot of money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so everywhere. Yes, everywhere, huh? Okay, so how much? Does, <laughs> so that is the structure. How much does a uh, and you fill in the blanks? Okay. 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 Let's, Thank you. You're welcome. Let's continue exercises. Some exercises over here to clarify any doubts that you might have. Okay, first of all, we have the WH question, where? When we start with where, what are we looking for, um, Corey Monterosa? The place. Place, there we go, place, okay. place, very good. Places. Where, does, where does Sarah work? Okay, a million questions. La pregunta mi own. Jenny, why, if I'm talking about Sarah, which is a third person, work doesn't have S at the end. If this is a third person, why this verb doesn't have the S at the end? Pasa, Jenny? <clears throat> Corey? For the auxiliary. Auxiliary verb, yes, remember. Never the auxiliary verb over here, then the verb doesn't add the is when it's a third person. Okay, so where does Sarah work? Over here we have the is. Why, Brenda? Because um, answer the question uh, to the verb in base form word and the answer uh, add the S for the third person. Why? Yes, okay. Okay, so this one in this statement, we don't have we do not omit the S because we don't have any auxiliary verb in this in this sentence over here. Yes. So she works at school. That's the only reason. If we do have over here an auxiliary verb, then the S will disappear. So where does that work? She works at school. Okay. Can you see that? All of you. Any question about that uh, sentence? No? Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, Keith Palomo, can you please read me the first sentence, this one right here? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, desde el principio o, yes, o yes. desde read la segunda? This sentence over here, right here, this one right here. Where does that work? This one right here. This one. Can you see the uh, arrow? Puede ver la flechita que estoy moviendo? Sí. Okay. Read this yes. sentence for me, please. Okay. Where do Keith, uh, where do Kate and Jenny eat? Eat. Where do Kate and Jenny eat? And what is the answer, Sarah Martinez? They eat in the dining room. Okay, they eat in the dining room. Very good. They eat in the dining room. Very good. So, why don't we have an S on the verb eat, uh, T? 
Church of Armenia. Um, because, uh, because we are talking about in plural, they. We are talking about the third person plural. The yes. third person plural, right. Uh -huh. It can be confusing. You can say, how come this one over here? She works and they eat because it's a third person plural, okay? And third person don't have an S at the end. Only he, she, and it. Those one will have an S at the end, okay? Very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, now... um. Here's the third menu. Can you help me with this? Okay, can you read it for me, please? What does Mary buy every morning? What does Mary buy every morning? What does Mary buy every morning? And the answer to the question, uh, let's see. Uh, Graciela, please. Buy French bread every morning. She buys French bread every morning. Yes, very good. Any question about the, the, this sentence over here? This has the same structure as this one. See, does, does, and buys with the S, works with the S. Okay, it's almost the same. Okay, Brenda Cruz, can you help me with uh, this one, please? What do Antonio and Carlos eat? What do Antonio and Carlos eat? And what is the answer to that, Yelly? They eat soda at the store. They eat soda at the store. Can we eat soda at the store? No. We can we drink soda. No. We drink, no. We no, drink no. soda. There we go. I don't know what Antonio is eating soda, but <laughs> <laughs> they can eat, uh, drink, eat soda. They drink soda at the store. So they eat uh, maybe hamburgers with soda at the store, right? Okay, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Who always get the first place on Kahoot game? Graciela? We are talking about a person, but a general person. The answer. Answer. Who, yes, the answer. The answer tell us who was it was Angela. Okay, so can you read the whole sentence? Okay. Angela always gets the first place on Kahoot game. Yes. Angela always gets the first place on Kahoot game. And who gets the, who always gets the first place in our class on Kahoot game? Uh, Corey. Brenda and Xiomara. <laughs> always get the first place. <laughs> Always get the third place on Kahoot Games. Yeah. Brenda and Xiomara. Brenda and Xiomara always get, not get, right? Always get yes. the first place on Kahoot Games. Always yes. get. Very good. Yes. Okay. Um, Jenny Lizette, help me with this one right here. Why? Why do you like English? English. What are we looking for when we ask? Uh, a question starting with why, uh, Jenny Lisette. Uh, because. What are we see. looking for? What are we looking for is, ¿Qué es lo que nosotros queremos hallar, encontrar? What are we looking for when we start a question with why? ¿Qué es lo que nosotros queremos? ¿Qué información queremos obtener cuando comenzamos una pregunta? Con... A reason. There For a a reason. reason. There we go. Why do you like English, Jenny? Listen. I like English because it is interesting. Interesting. Very good. I like English because it is interesting. interesting. That is the reason why you're studying English, right? So whenever you say why, answer English. back with the reason why. Why are you late? Oh, because there was a lot of traffic. Why you don't like to eat uh, hamburgers? Oh, because it's too greasy. Okay. Why do you like Chinese food? Oh, because it is healthy or something like that. Uh, you always gonna answer back with uh, a reason. Okay. Okay. And over here uh, we have um, how many? We're gonna start with how many? And um, 
Laura, Carletto, can you please help me with how many? Laura, Carletto, Laura, Laura, no está, no está. ok. Pues, por eso les digo que tienen que prender la cámara cuando estén en la clase, porque puede ser que se metan a Cajut, pero se vayan a otra parte y no están recibiendo la clase. Ok, eh, Keith Palomo, por favor, uh, you, ¿puedes ayudarme con how many? This one right here. Yes, teacher. Thank you. How many students are they in our classroom? Ok, how many students are there? there. Are there in... Our, our, our class classroom very good how many so i'm looking for something what am i looking for brenda cruz uh, many students i want to find out the number of students right how many <coughs> how many because that is accountable i'm using how many if, if there is something that is uncomfortable, how is the question going to be formulated, Miguel Lara? Jim? Yes? No, no entendí la pregunta, teacher. Me la puede volver a repetir. Okay. <coughs> si si la, lo que estoy preguntando fuera uncomfortable, ¿cómo voy a formular yo la pregunta? Uncomfortable. Uh -huh. um, siempre sería how. Much. There we go. How much? Yes. How much? How much? Very good. How many is countable? How much is uncountable? Thank you, whoever answered the, the question. Okay. So, and the answer to this how many students are there in a classroom? Sarah, please. How many students are there in our classroom? Um, yes, what would be the um, answer to that? Excuse me? What would be the answer? What would be the answer? answer? Yes. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Uh, the answer is right here. Right here is the answer. What would be the answer? Lea la respuesta. There are? Yes. 25. To, to, 25 students in, in pre, in intermediate class. Okay. Okay. 25 or 25, teacher? 25, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, it's value to decir uh, to, to... No, está bien, está bien, perdón. <laughs> Estaba tratando de comprender. Okay, very good. Okay, so there are 25 students in pre-intermediate class. I think we are more than that, or less than that, but uh, it's just a number that it was picked up. So how many students? There are 25. So, so since this is a countable thing, then we have uh, to, um, when we ask with a countable thing, we have to answer with the countable thing, okay? Okay. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. So let's see, uh, Patricia Ayala, can you please read uh, this question for me? What does Antonio do at night? Okay, very good. What does Antonio do at night? And uh, Keith Palomo says, right here, just read. Uh, okay. Uh, he teacher English, English class. Yes, he teaches, he teaches English class. He, he, he teaches. teaches. Yeah, he teaches he English teaches. class. He teaches English, English, English class. class. 
Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, Miguel, Laura, please help me with the uh, second question. Teacher, teacher. Yes. yes. He, he, he teaches, así. Teaches, he te yes. Teaches. I call it verb. Teaches. No See, uh -huh. it's the verb, yes. Acuérdense que ah, es okay, okay. subject y verb. Teaches. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. No, thank you for the, the answers that your uh, classmates uh, give you the answer. So thank you for your help. Okay, Miguel, please help me with this one. What do you, what do participants do in the English class? Yes, what do participants do in the English class? Remember, we have to sound uh, every single uh, letter on the words. So if I have pa, a, r, t, e, ka, e, a, n, t. Yeah. So you have to sound like that. Participants. I have to, I have to, I, I have to be able to hear at the end. Participants do in the English class. Very good. And uh, Xiomara, what is, the, what would be the answer to that? Say participants in class. This one right here. Participate in, the, in class. They participate they part in class? This, yeah, they participate in class. Very good. They participate in class. Very good. Excellent. Okay, now uh, who can help me with, the, with this one right here? That's chocolate. Me. Sir. Can I help you, teacher? Yes, please, please, please. When does Jacqueline go to work? When does she goes? Yes, when does Jacqueline go to work? Jacqueline, go to Jacqueline work. yes, go to work. And, and what would be the answer to that, Marcela Linares? She goes to work every day. She goes to work every day yes every so day. since we are asking for uh time when she goes to work she goes to work every day very good excellent okay any questions about the uh, a simple present no, no? i don't, don't have to no question okay wh question no no okay very good excellent so let's see um um, we have left yesterday another Kahoot, right? We have another Kahoot for the simple, um, no, with the verb to be. Is that correct? Okay. For this one, we're going to have our Kahoot tomorrow. So make sure that you do have a clear understanding of the how the do and does with the simple present works. And if you have any questions, again, I am open for you guys, okay? So I work for you, and um, so you can ask me any question as many times as you want. So let's, uh, I'm gonna uh, play Kahoot with you guys. Make sure that you have your your phone on and your computer. Let's see. Yes. So we have uh, the verb to be, what left yesterday. We did the possessive adjectives and uh, WH question, right? Now we're gonna do our the verb to be. Yeah. Let me know if you can see blank screen right now. Mm -hmm. Now the, we see Kahoot. We're gonna play this one. Okay, one second. One second, please. One second, I'm sorry for the delay. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. This is the one we want. Okay. Keith Palomo, are you okay? Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a game. Uh, uh, let's uh, so this is you're gonna uh, this is what you're gonna enter on your phone www.kahoot.it and then this is the uh, uh, pin that you're gonna enter and then it's gonna ask you for a, a nickname you can call yourself Keith or you can give another name okay okay teacher thank you uh, you're welcome just smile Simara thank you Yesli, Marcela, M. Lara, Patty, Tirsa, Jenny, Graciela. Yo no voy a poder jugar, teacher. How come? Eh, mi computadora me está fallando. Ay. Pero el teléfono. Excuse me. El teléfono. Sí. Ok. En su teléfono. Intentaré. Ok, please. Ok, teacher. Lo voy a hacer desde el teléfono, pero también estoy desde él, así que voy a desconectar la cámara. ¿Cómo? Pero tiene, ah, tiene pero el no, computador. Porque... Ah, ok. No, es que solamente estoy con el teléfono ahorita. No tengo la laptop acá. No, no tiene la laptop. Oh, ok. No. Yo la tengo, pero me está fallando, teacher. No okay. logro conectarme. Ah, este es de internet. No, tengo internet, míreme. Oh, ok. No se puede accesar, me dice. No puede. Deje ver. No puedo, no sé qué le pasa a la máquina, teacher. Enséñemela. ¿Qué dice? Logra ver. Ok. Mira. Este es el Kahoot. Hay sí, este, yo intento meterme, pero no. Váyase a la, a la, a la URL que está arriba. No, si va en Yahoo, no se meta en Yahoo. Sino que váyase arriba en la URL, en la barra de arriba. Y ahí ponga www.cahoot.it. Si lo escribo y, y aunque le dé enter nada. Yo creo que la máquina me está fallando. Sí. Cajut. Brenda. ¿Alguien más tiene problemas? Sí, no puedo, teacher. Ok. Ok, entonces vamos a... ¿Alguien más? Uh, Carlos... Miguel, entraste. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Ya todos están ahí? Yes. Ok, vamos a empezar entonces. Ok, acuérdense que este es verbo to be. Andamos buscando was. Um, M or it is. Okay. Yes. M. Acuérdense, dijimos ayer que al principio de la oración iba con mayúscula. Yes. Entonces, uh, por eso es que no es el am primero, el rojo, sino que es con el mayúsculo. Sí. Mm. Ok. Let's see. Who is from... Uh... Ok, very good. Excellent. Tomorrow is always the first one, no? Huh? Ok. Congratulations, Simara. Muy 
Gris. Very good, excellent. We still remember that. Okay. Very good. No, I like that. Now we're getting better. Very good. Now it's gonna be tough. Yes. So, so no. Ah. <laughs> Corey, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué? No. Se me fue el dedo. Se me fue el dedo. Ah, no. Se me fue el dedo, pero no es que eso piense. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. It's not is and it's not uh, mm -hmm. where. Okay. Y esa María soy yo porque oh, no puse goodness. la pata. You like the uh, yellow color, huh? <laughs> No, es que no tengo pulso ni para eso. <laughs> Ay, no, señor. Okay, okay. Now you're going to pay the price. Okay, let's see. Next one. <laughs> Am I in the right classroom? Yes. This is in the right classroom? No, this is not. Because we are working only with am, are, and is. Acuérdense, clase. Solo estamos trabajando con el am, el are, y el is. El this no tiene nada que ver con, con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Just for you. Now, next. Oh, my goodness, what happened? Let's see. Oh, oh. la palabra moja me da ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Mohamed. Come on, Curry. Are you? I'm right. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Sure. Child is plural or singular? A child. It's plural. Singular. singular. So that means that R is it doesn't go here because it's child is one. Yes. Children are more than one. Okay, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Yes, Lee. Good job. Corey, where are you? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I know you were there. Okay. Are, are they married? Are they married? Because we're talking about they. Is it for she, he, and it? It. Okay, so if they are, we use are for you, we, you, plural, and they. Okay, so never use is when there is a, a they. Very good, excellent. Let's continue. Silmara went back and yes, Lee. <laughs> My God, what happened? Hurry up. Curry, curry, curry. Hey, curry. esa, esa, no la puedo adivinar. <laughs> oh, no, no tienes que adivinar. 
<laughs> uh, you're not guessing. No, I can't. How are you? Hey, eso nos dio casi un minuto. <laughs> sí. Es que está más cansado. Sí. Anton. Teacher. There we go. Okay. No puedes irme a prender la, la luz allá. ¿Ah? Antonio. Yo pensé que me decía prender la luz. Antonio. No, Antonio. Ar, no. Kirby, no. what happened? Ok, no. Yes, Evelyn. Remember, this is plural. So people are plural. Yesly and Evelyn are cousins or just. Evelyn and Evelyn. You know, okay. Let's see what's got the first place. Okay. Marcella, very good, excellent. Daddy, good job. Good job, excellent. Congratulations. Patrick, Tamara, Marcella. Okay. Question, none of them were difficult. So all of them were, it better, was better than yesterday. So congratulations on that uh, uh, yes. accomplishment. Okay, very good. Good job. So let's um, let's see if we can uh, start the, the presentation. The one I sent today. today. Did you um, have a time to take a look at it or you did not have the time to open the PowerPoint presentation? Okay. We're going to be talking about time expression. Um, what do we know about uh, time expression, Brenda? Brenda? Time expression. Yes. What do you think it is? Uh, talking about the time. Okay, something uh, about uh, some, Maybe sometimes, usually. There we go. Uh huh. Yes, very good. Always. Always, yes, time expression. So why do and we... And I don't remember. <laughs> Very good, that, that's, that's, that's good enough. Why do you think we use time expressions, uh, uh, Termeño? Uh, I think we use it when we need to, uh, to show uh, something about uh, the current, the frequency to do frequency, to do frequency something to do something. The frequency, frequency to do something. Yeah, frequency of um, of things that we do, right? Very good. Any of you had uh, a different idea uh, about that uh, time expression? Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Are at there? I think he uses at in on. Those are um. What are those, uh, Brenda Cruz? Are those Excuse are, me. Uh, in on at what are those? Uh, the the ubication. <laughs> preposition. Yes. Oh, close. Preposition. preposition. <laughs> those are prepositions. <laughs> yes. Preposition. So yes. Okay. Let's see if we can start this presentation. Just we're gonna go over uh, about time expression. In the simple present, there are other time expressions that uh, we're going to be uh, uh, looking at uh, in the future. But time expressions, yes, sometimes we have a frequency uh, expressions as well. And I'm going to explain to you what's the difference between them, okay? So time expression in the simple present. What are time expressions? That was, was my question to Brenda. And they are words and very short phrases. So son palabras y frases pequeñas we use that tell you how often do you do something. So in other words, an action, right? So estos son las time, yes, ma'am. Pero las time expressions, bueno, como dice que son frases, pero no son adverbios. Son adverbs también, sí. Ajá. Lo vamos a ver como adverbios mm -hmm. también. We're going to see them as okay. an adverb expression también. Pero son actions, yes? Or some phrases okay. or words that uh, you tell you how often you do something. Lo que dijo Termeño. How often the frequency of you do something. 
For example, I always, so the time expression right there will be always. Uh, Monica hardly ever. Esa sería la phrase, ¿verdad? Una phrase sería hardly ever. Phrase, uh -huh. Yes. Y la otra dice, I often exercise. Often sería la time expression. Jason usually catches a bus to work. Es otra time expression. She constantly, aquí, calls her sister. Constantly is another uh, time expression. Antonio never exercises. Pero ese no, es, no soy yo. Yo sí hago ejercicio, ¿ok? <laughs> Antonio, okay. Yes. Uh, trust me, trust me, yes. <laughs> Antonio never exercises. And sometimes I walk, sorry, sometimes I walk for two hours. So, tenemos esas time, hay otras, there are many times expression, other ones, but today we're going to be looking at always, always quiere decir siempre, always. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I always eat tortillas, tortillas, ¿verdad? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que todos los días voy a comer tortillas. No hay un día que falte que no coma tortillas. So, I always eat tortillas, tortillas, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Monica hardly ever shops on Sundays. Hardly ever quiere decir que casi nunca. Casi nunca. O sea, uh -huh. ella, ella compra eh, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, pero casi nunca compra on Sunday. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly. Hardly es duramente ever siempre. Pero se, se, eh, se entiende que es casi nunca. Yeah. I often es a menudo. I often exercise. A menudo quiere decir que yo eh, ejercito lunes, eh, jueves, eh, sábado, eh, un, un miércoles por ahí. Ese es often. Yeah? Jason usually catches a bus to work. Usually es más frecuente. Usually, usualmente catches the bus to work. Frecuentemente. She constantly car, call her sister. Constantemente. Es que no es siempre, pero es casi siempre. Constantly es siempre que está llamándola al hermano. Va, no seis o cinco días a la semana. ¿Ok? Antonio, never exercises es lo opuesto de always. ¿Ya? Yeah? Always es siempre y never es nunca. ¿Yes? Entonces son, están a los dos extremos. Y cuando dice sometimes I walk for two hours. Sometimes it's uh, once a week, or twice a week, or dos veces a la semana. Entonces, estas son las time expressions que vamos a, a ver más a fondo el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. ¿Estamos bien? Ok. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Okay? ok, very yes, good. Yes. So, uh, keep your questions. I know we're going to have a lot of questions, but uh, uh, hold on those questions for tomorrow. Ok. okay. All right. Well, if there is no other question, if you have any question about uh, uh, the platform, remember that uh, there is a time limit for platform uh, to finish it up, at least 80%, so you can graduate, so you can get your certificate, okay? Congratulations, uh, all of you. You did very well on the uh, game today. Tomorrow, we're going to have another one about uh, our time expressions, okay? So, okay. Until, until then, okay. see you tomorrow. Good Wait, night. Teacher, okay. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye. 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 Ciao, 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 Jenny. Bye, teacher. Ciao. 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 Ciao.